I couldn't say it's a hundred percent truth information that it has consisting. Uh, yes. So I guess we are meeting for the first time. Yes, Monica. Uh, is it correct? Yeah. Yeah. It's All right. Correct. Yeah, it's the first okay. session that we have. Right, right. So as you know, Monica, and I'm basically from Kolkata. Can I know something about you? Yeah. Hi, Monica. My name is Mr. Kuduthuru Madhu. I belong to the state of Andhra Pradesh, Anandapur district. Currently, I'm working at Amazon as a transaction risk investigator, and I'm the enthusiastic guy where I can explore myself and put them into the real-time applications. This is all about okay. me. That's great. All right. And are you aware of today's topic? Yes. Mm -hmm. It's basically about uh, advertisements, right? Yes. So yes. Tell me which is the most shocking or the funniest advertisement that you have seen so far. Hmm. Firstly, I'll go with the what is meaning of the advertisement and I'll tell that. Okay. Mm -hmm. All right. So basically advertisements means a way we can, you know, uh, trying to sell or reaching out uh, with a product to the customers or the people somewhat closer. Uh, that means we are supposed to showcasing them the advertisement in, with the help of advertisement about that product, what are their particulars that has consisting and what is the use and how can uh, it works. That is meaning of the advertisement. So the funniest advertisement that I've seen so far, mm, I couldn't recall anything about that. Um, I think every advertisement makes some sense, right? So they are doing advertisements mean that should be some more information and making something funny. Okay, okay. Now I got it. I got it. So one advertisement actually that I've seen is, uh, especially on Valentine's Day, the people posting like my heart is, uh, you know, still vacant. Uh, can you come? And you know that is also one kind of advertisement, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Right. Okay, okay. Like the advertisements that we have on television. Have you ever watched any such, let's say, the cosmetics or soaps yeah. or some other chocolates or maybe something like that? Yes, yes. yes. Uh, yeah, those are the advertisements which has consisting some potential information and with a, a certain taglines which they are going to sell a products. Uh, I could say those are the official advertisement, so I couldn't find any funny things on that. Maybe. Uh, but I couldn't notice. That's my problem. <laughs> mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay, okay. So no issues. So what do you think? What makes an ad memorable? Uh, okay, which ad makes me memorable? Um, uh, recently, I've seen an advertisement uh, that was actually, you know, about one a product. That means it is about about to say it is about one old box actually so they make a very big scene like uh, the person who made that uh, big box is actually he's the second generation guy that means uh, uh, first generation in their family already were died and he's a second generation that guy and even though it's a still exist uh, the surprise we got to know about end of this uh, end of that advertisement that was the most funniest advertisement that i've seen so far okay okay fine fine so yes okay i do understand that you're talking about that advertisements when but when you talk about advertisements in general what are the things basically that makes an ad memorable why do you remember a certain ad for a long period of time what are the things you remember basically mm, uh, means uh, can you figure out something like for example like for example if you talk about um, the concept or the storyline mm -hmm. of the ads are such that sometimes it just remains with us right so the concepts or storyline so like mm -hmm. in, in the same manner what are the other things in an ad in an ad basically that makes us remember the ad for a long period of time okay yes as got it so like which advertisements makes us rememberable for more time right mm -hmm. so like the content which has consisting which is attracted to the people and which is really neat to the people and that particular product we are using daily lives so that kind of the advertisement still remain with us because those are really uh, you know essential products in our life now uh, 
so for example if you seen in my native language telugu so we've seen one advertisement since my childhood that is about uh, mountain dew actually uh, it's a cool drink soft drinks mm. so that is actually you know ad from one of these uh, best actors in the telugu film industry called um, superstar mahesh babu garu so still that is remain same like since my childhood i've been observing that uh, he's the only guy who a collaborated branding partner with that company and still it's going on with the same concept with the same tagline so that was the most memorable advertisement that i can say okay okay so that was the most memorable one right okay yeah. fine so when we talk about memorable advertisements now what i was talking what i was actually asking you is what are the things that makes it memorable the concept makes it memorable the tagline or the punch lines of the ads actually make it more memorable like there are certain punch lines or taglines of certain ads where we can remember those ads for life long right the third important thing is celebrities right uh, uh-huh. right yeah. so okay do you think the big celebrities in the ads make a huge difference mm-hmm. yes obviously if a product reach to the normal uh, like normal people that to you know targeted audience like average or uh, below average or middle class or upper class we should have you uh, prom- uh, we should have to use the promotional concept as a advertisement by using the superstars or whoever very popular uh, in the industry or whatever it may be uh mm-hmm. like i couldn't recall the question like big celebrities in the ad like you were talking about mahesh babu right yeah, yeah. so you remember the ad because of mahesh babu right yeah so that is what my question is do you think the ads the celebrities in the ads make a huge difference yes yes obviously uh, so with the help only the product will go up or rise uh, for example we will consider uh, one previous uh, you know collaboration like i couldn't uh, say exactly it is uh, ronaldo so one day he gave uh, he's uh, giving the interview at the moment he just you know kept one bottle and uh, you know pick one bottle and kept outside on the time the price of that company fall down rapid uh, you know it fall down said uh, you know very badly so the big celebrities definitely make a huge uh, it's not we couldn't say it is not huge uh, we could say it is a very uh, you know it's a very essential uh, while we collaborated with the uh, celebrities yes they can make a huge difference in the company and their brand yes it's works with the celebrities hmm. so it impacts a lot right so yeah. the big celebrities presence in a certain ad could be more impactful could be actually a very impactful for a yes, certain yes. product right yes yes yes, well, yes right like for example there are certain people uh, who consider the celebrities to be the their idols maybe yeah yeah <coughs> so they look up to the celebrities for inspiration they are the inspiration yeah for a lot many people so of course for these reasons the advertising agencies uh, do try to hire those celebrities to make their products sell more right so yes, yes, for yes. increasing the revenues of the product and that remains with us when we see a certain ad you know featuring a certain celebrity we retain those ads for a longer period of time because of sometimes a celebrity in, in it right and yes, even yes. if we do not have a celebrity in a particular advertisement sometimes the concept is so powerful that it just stays with us like yeah. for example i don't know how far you remember this particular advertisement uh, vodafone came up with this very innovative concept of zuzus yeah those yeah those animations yeah right? yes. yes so yes. although it didn't have any i would say it didn't have any budget at all it didn't have any huge celebrity it didn't have any thing to attach to it but still it just was so i mean all over the place just because of this innovative yeah. concept right yes, so yes. there are certain concepts also that uh, are so very uh, innovative yes yes now i got it like uh, we can observe that the uh, the caller tune or ringtone which they have set it yes yes now i got it and you asked about uh, earlier that what was the most funniest advertisement that you've seen so far mm. so it mm. is about five star so uh, mm. <laughs> eat five star do nothing <laughs> like i seen one girl is you know laying on beach and uh, the big uh, floods and airs will come 
Uh, mm-hmm. she uh, still watching her phone and you know mm-hmm. her umbrella got away from her and mm-hmm. post that it will come says remain same position so <laughs> that was the most funniest thing that i've seen in that mm-hmm. advertisement yeah mm-hmm. the umbrella flew away and then they just came back to the same position again same position so, yes yes okay that's Fine. a very big tagline like eat mm-hmm. five star do nothing <laughs> correct yeah correct. there have been several actually uh, advertisements uh, regarding this surrounding this five star wherein it was very funny and memorable one so yes, yeah yes. and, and do you remember yes and especially the uh, the one which makes a beautiful song about uh, uh, cadbury dairy milk <laughs> hmm that is yeah, also right. one of the most memorable advertisements mm-hmm. that i've seen mm-hmm. so far mm-hmm. right 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 and uh, do you have any such uh, childhood memory like any uh, ad that you remember from your childhood as i mentioned earlier that uh, mahesh babu ad and maggi ad maggi ad never forgettable <laughs> that is the most valuable uh, you know thing which we have seen uh, since my childhood uh, because uh, when we come back to you know school uh, maggi is the only thing come back from school uh, all right okay come back from the school so manly um, sorry maggi uh, is the only thing we can get a within a 2 minutes that is a very quick snack for that kind of the stuff mm-hmm. so maggi would impact a very very huge you know uh, huge impact on the society so that was the most branding thing that i've ever seen mm mm-hmm. correct yeah. correct actually it created a revolution in the market just because of the fast food sector that it was going into yeah. right so yes, yes people yes. realize the uh, you know this fact that okay a certain food product is out there in the market which can be made or prepared within 2 minutes 2 minutes right? yes so it just mm. made that mark with the 2 minutes maggi noodles it just created a revolution and since then there's no looking back So yes, Maggi yes. has been the favorite noodles, especially in India, if you consider it. Yes, yes. Still, Still, that is in the number one position in a market in the snack. So uh, the major impact would be on the taglines and uh, uh, the branding value that have created with the help of this uh, promotional advertisement. Mm-hmm. Although I remember, mm-hmm. I mean, I used to listen it. I mean, I used to hear it from my mother. So she used to tell me stories that, okay, when we were very young and Mag. maggi actually came into the market so nobody was actually uh, quite inclined to buy maggi they were very reluctant to use it they or have it or to feed their children but mm-hmm. gradually as time passed by it became the favorite snack snack among all the children so yes yes it took some time to create a kind of stir in the market but it gradually gained the momentum and is here still now and there are so many competitors who try to beat that but mm. nobody was able to replicate the same taste that the maggi is able to give for all the generations now yes so, yes yeah. mm. okay all right right and uh, yes now when we talk about advertisements so um, yes have you ever been influenced to buy a certain thing because of advertisements have you bought anything based on advertisements uh yes i bought you know uh, many things with the help of advertisement only we uh, got to know about that product exactly mm. so i purchased my laptop with the help of advertisement and branding mm-hmm. yeah i i got influenced mm mm-hmm. influenced i got influenced right yes yeah. Uh, right right okay and uh, do you think is there any truth in the advertisements i couldn't say it's a 100% truth information that has consisting um but i would say at least uh, 50 to 80% hmm. yeah okay all the ads are you are you talking about all the ads having 50 to 80% of Uh, not or... much not much mm-hmm. some ads consisting zero information which is not at all mm-hmm. acceptable so like uh, india has uh, you know implemented one program uh, i mean i couldn't say it's a program so uh, the thing which we couldn't you know uh, advertise the product regarding drugs or 
uh, you know alcoholic or uh, dangerous uh, what would you say that i couldn't mm. ex- i couldn't recall that words exactly so those kind of the ads we couldn't advertise it's a uh, strictly prohibited things mm. and uh, the uh, the companies which they are using you know illegal method instead of that product they are using some other product and mix of them mix mm. all of them and giving the flavor that kind of the stuffs so they are advertising anyhow <laughs> so no one couldn't you know say with that kind of the stuff Hmm. Okay. Okay. Uh. Right. Okay. We can say that. So truth. When we talk about truth in the ads, so there are mul- multiple ads which are focused on the cosmetics, fairness creams. You have these shampoos which just shows that your hair becomes nicer and cleaner and shinier with using with the usage of shampoo. With well, the irony is that it actually makes our hairs worse. all with all the loaded chemicals and everything so i guess these kind of fmcg product basically one which deals with certain external beauty future features of the people i mm-hmm. guess they are completely baseless because they uh, do not have anything to do with the truth they just want their sales that's it yeah. but there are certain ads which are directed towards some social cause maybe so for them i can say they yes, ads there are truth right so yes, which yes. are directed towards the social cause so it yes, depends yes. what kind of ad is that Okay, yeah. I'll just quickly go with the feedback now. We have a minute left. Okay, I just feel sometimes your answers. Um, I mean, you're not able to understand the question. Is it or I don't know exactly what happens. But uh, I mean, you just go about the answers, but you're not coming to the point. Sometimes it happens with you, right? So this is one thing. Yes, tell me. Mm-hmm. Uh, no problem. You can carry on. No, we That means you can continue. So you yeah, yes. yeah, no problem. Like whatever th- uh, thing you are discussing is correct <laughs> because I am not at all mm-hmm. touching your question exactly. Yeah. Hmm hmm hmm. All right. Sometimes it happens, right? So mm-hmm. try and understand the question well, and then try to think about certain examples that comes to your head. Always, you know, broaden your imagination. Like, what are the things I've seen it on television? What are the things I've seen it on social media? How can I relate it to my answers? This should be your approach when ans- answering a certain question, right? So All you right. don't have to always use those specific business words as as you're trying to use it. It could mm-hmm. be also general sometimes. It's good to use the business English, 